937 tonight, we winter solstice took place, uh, and this is our darkest, kind of shortest day of the year. It doesn't look like any fresh powder is going to be on those. No, trees no pow either. pow coming yeah. in, unfortunately. But we do have okay. some ski slopes that are going to open tomorrow morning, which is very good. That news. is good news. And I just so happen to know a very tenacious skier. Matter of fact, she's got one whole season under her belt with hopefully many more to come. That would, of course, would be Josephine. Uh, Josie, you're talking about just how warm this Christmas is going to be. Yeah, so um, the warmest Christmas on record was in 1982, and it was 66 degrees. Um, and all of the other Christmas temperatures have been 60 degrees and above. That's right, the warmest, the five warmest. The five warmest, So yeah. this year, where are we going? Um, this year, it's not going to be quite that warm, but um, it's going to be about 57 degrees. Okay. So mainly dry. We may have some rain that comes in a little bit later, most certainly. Yeah. And when I step in this picture, uh, everybody might start to get a little bit like, oh, my girl has grown, y'all. <laughs> Josie is what, uh, almost as tall as me now. I still have you by a couple inches. And I do have some heels on, but they're very tiny. But anyway, uh, now you are a? I'm a freshman. Freshman in school, flag core, loving life, favorite class right now? Who, um, math, probably. That's my girl. I love it. Okay, that's good news. What do you want to be when you grow up? Oh, um. Sorry to put you on the spot. Violet had an answer very quickly. Yeah, well, Violet, um, <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to come back to you guys on that one. Okay, <laughs> don't, don't lock in on any one certain thing. You've got all kinds of choices to make. And tomorrow you'll have a choice to make, too, as you step out the door. Do you take a jacket or not? It's not going to be warm but it's not gonna be terribly cold for this time of the year. We're looking at cloudy skies in the morning. We'll have a few sprinkles possible during the day as temperatures top out in the 40s. We have had some cloud cover move in throughout the afternoon and the evening. That stays with us tonight, but out to the west, our unsettled weather pattern continues with rain showers and clouds moving throughout the central part of the country. It's this storm system that's sitting off of California that won't get here until Monday night into Tuesday. So late Christmas, we may start to bring some rain chances in here, uh, but uh, we have high pressure that's in control right now and I'm kind of having a flashback moment. The reason the girls come in, uh, by the way, I am taking my first Christmas of my career off. Uh, when Josie was born, I worked Christmas and I didn't have anywhere to take her so I brought her with me and she makes it on the air and people thought that was kind of fun so we've done it every year so this is our 15th year now doing this uh, and it's just been fantastic how everybody's accepted us into your homes and Boy, a lot of people recognize you before they recognize me now, which is a lot of uh, interesting twist and turn of fate, but very proud of my girls, most certainly. Let's get into this forecast. Oh, you're going to step out? Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, actually, if you want to, uh, I'll have you pop back in in a minute. Hold on. Look how that California system is making it all the way into the central part of the country. Now, this is Sunday, 6 p.m., so Christmas Eve, 6 p.m., no rain in Ohio. We have a dry Christmas Eve, but by Christmas morning, clouds will be on the increase, and then ultimately late Christmas, that's when that rain chance moves in. The snow chance, all the nasty weather, really staying out to the west of us for the most part. So as far as your national design, our hour-by-hour hour forecast goes here in the short term, we will cool back down into the upper 20s and low 30s for tomorrow morning. We're anticipating a lot of cloud cover around. Can't rule out sprinkles here and there as we get into our unsettled pattern for the next couple of days. Travel looks great. Don't worry about travel problems here in Northeast Ohio. If you're going east, west, north, south on any of our highways, I think it should be just fine. That goes for Friday evening too. Saturday morning is when things start to get a little trickier as we will have some rain moving in. As of right now, it looks like on and off rain showers through the day Saturday, not a washout though, so that is certainly some good news. Here's your Union Home Mortgage forecast. Joe's, what's tomorrow's temperature? Um, tomorrow it's going to be 45 degrees. 45 degrees. We're going to make it up to 57 in a Christmas day. Kwanzaa starts on Tuesday with rain likely, temperatures in the mid 50s. And what happens is we wrap up the week and head into next weekend. Um, the temperatures start to drop a little bit. And we get some snow. That's where the ski chances start to pop in, y'all.